Hello friends, welcome once again to my exam coaching classes. First of all, thank you so much for watching my videos and thank you so much for your support. So as you know, IBPS 2023 exams dates are announced. So let us take our preparation to the full thing now. As usual, I have selected some more important questions from the previous question papers, which we are going to solve today. Okay, so before going to the question, let me request all of you. If you are new to my channel, I request you kindly subscribe and please don't forget to press the bell button so that whenever I upload the regular videos, the notification will come to you. You will not miss any video. And second thing I really want to tell you is all the important sample papers are already uploaded in the app My Exam Coaching and the link is given in the description. Kindly download the app from Google Play Store and take your preparations to the next level. Right? Okay. So without wasting much of your time let us go to the question and solve some of the important question selected from previous papers so requesting once again if you are new to my channel i request you kindly subscribe and download my exam coaching app and you will get a lot of free materials and videos absolutely free in that app so here is the first question selected from IBPS paper. The ratio of the angles of a triangle is 2 is to 3 is to 5. What is the sum of the smallest and the largest? Sum of the smallest and the largest is what we need to find out. The ratio is given in the ratio 2 is to 3 is to 5. So this type of questions we have already solved. So let us take the ratio is 2 is to 3 is to 5. So let me take it as 2x is to 3x is to 5x. So total we have 10x. So we know 10x is equal to the total sum of the angles of a triangle which is 180. So from here I can make x is equal to 18. Once I get x is equal to 18, I can write the first angle 2x will be equal to how much? 18 plus 2 that is 36. 3x will be how much? 18 into 3, 54. And 5x will be how much? 5, 5 into 18, that is equal to 90. But what we want? We want the sum of smallest and the largest. Smallest is 2x, largest is 5x, total it is 7x. 7x is equal to 36 plus 90, you can write, which is equal to 126. Or you can write 7x is equal to 7 into 18. Again, it is 126. From the given options, accordingly, you can mark the correct answer as answer D. D is the correct option, 126 degree. Understand very clearly, when you have a triangle like this, and when you add the angle measurement of all three angles, angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3, the total angle will be equal to 180 degree. This is the basic concept of this question. Right, 180 degree is the total sum of the angles of a triangle. So that is why we have taken here 10x is equal to 180. When 10x is equal to 180, we got x is equal to 18. From this, you can calculate the sum of smallest and the sum of largest. So smallest and largest, it becomes 36 plus 90. We got 126 is the correct answer. I hope it is clear to you. Let us go to the next question. How many different ways can a letter sum be arranged? Now, this type of questions are from permutation and combination. We have solved a lot of questions from that particular topic. So again, let me tell you like this. We have how many letters here? Sum. S-O-M-E. We have one, two, three, four letters. So let us take it as a four block. How many different ways the letter can be arranged? Total, we have four. So, four different ways you can arrange here. Once you arrange the first letter here, the remaining three you can arrange in three different ways here. The remaining two you can arrange two different ways here. And the last one you can arrange only one way here. So, multiply all these things. 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. So, we got 4 threes are 12. 12 into 2, 24. So, total 24 different ways you can arrange these letters. So, accordingly mark the correct option as Option B, that is 24. This question is from the topic permutation and combination. 
Okay, so kindly notice, then go to the next question. Important question selected from the previous question papers. So you can expect this type of questions this year also. Next question is 15 men can complete a piece of work in 20 days. So how many men will complete the same work in 25 days? So this is a simple question. You can use shortcut method. We have here what? A piece of work is completed by 15 men in 20 days. So how many men will be required? That is X men can complete it in 25 days. So what we need to find out is what is that X? Using the shortcut method, I can do it like this. X will be equal to 15 into 20 divided by 25. So 15 here, 5 will go 3 times. Here 5 will go 5 times. Then this 5 and 20 you can cut 4 times. 3 into 4 I can write x is equal to 12 men are required for completing the same work in 25 days. Accordingly you can calculate and you can, you can mark the correct option as option A, 12. This is a shortcut method. But actually if you want the concept of this particular question, how we can do this? We can do this like this. 15 men in 20 days. That means 15 men in one day. In one day, it will be equal to what? 1 by 20. So 15 men, 1 man in one day. 1 man in one day. It will be equal to 1 by 15 into 20. Here we have how many men will be required. Let us take it as X men. In how many days? 25 days. X men in 25 days. In 25 days will be equal to what? X into 25 divided by 15 into 20, which is taken as the work completed, which is equal to 1. From this particular equation, from this particular equation, you can calculate the value of X. So what will be X? X is equal to 1 into cross multiplication. 1 into 15 into 25, 20, that is 15 into 20 divided by 25. So this is the step we have taken as direct shortcut method. 15 into 20 divided by 25. So solving it, you will get x is equal to 12 days. Sorry, not 12 days, 12 men. So this particular value, this particular equation, we have taken as shortcut method, right? So if your concept is very clear, directly you can use the shortcut method and you can solve this and you can save a lot of time. Those who are not, come, not clear with the concept, use this method, practice with the more and more questions and then come to the shortcut method. Right. So let us go to the next question. Find the symbol interest occurred on a sum of rupees 4050 at a rate of 8% per annum in two years. So here we are talking about symbol interest. Remember all the formula which we have already discussed in the previous uh, videos. Symbol interest is given by the formula PRT by 100. So here P is the principal which is equal to 4050 and R is the rate which is 8 percentage. So 8 by 100 into T is the time which is 2 years. So now you can cut this 100. It will become 40 point. 50. So we have 40.50 into 8 into 2, 16. So now I can cut it, I can multiply it like this 40.50 into 10 will become 405.00, and 40.5 into 6 will become how much? 3, 6, 5, sir, 0 0.5 into 3, 3, 40, 2, 40, 2, 43. So this will become what? Uh, 243. So I'll get it as 8, 6, 4 and 6, 648. So 648 is the correct answer. Accordingly, option D, you can mark as the correct option. The shortcut method, multiplication and all, you can practice with the more and more question. Again, I'm telling you, if you want to download the complete question papers, download the app My Exam Coaching. The link is given in the description and download the complete question paper and 
practice with more and more questions take your preparation to the next level before going to the final examination next question a number when added to two third of itself gives the value 150 what's the number a number let us take the number as x when it is added to two third of itself two third of itself means two third of x the value becomes 150 take the lcm first 3 into x 3x plus 2x equal to cross multiplication 3 into 150 450 that means 3x plus 2x is 5x 5x is equal to 450 you can cancel 5 and 450 90 times we got x is equal to 90 what's the number then x is equal to 90 mark the correct option option d has the correct option all these calculation students you have to do very fast competitive exams are really a race against time questions are not tough practice it with more and more question and increase your speed next question present age of suraj is six times that of vijay suraj is six times vijay so let us take s is equal to six times of vijay also given vijay's present age is 20 years less than suraj at present vijay is equal to 20 years less than suraj s minus 20 so i can write s is equal to what v plus 20 right s is equal to v plus 20 so now substitute this value in the first equation that is v plus 20 is equal to 6v so 20 is equal to when i take this v to this side it will become minus 5v 5v is equal to 20 so we got v is equal to 4 that is vijay's present age is 4 now if vijay is 4 s is equal to what x is equal to 6v that is 6 into 4 which is equal to 24 years so what is the present find the suraj age suraj age will be equal to what suraj age will be equal to 24 years so option d is the correct answer right so next let us go to the next question the area of a rectangle is 221 square meter so a rectangle is given and its area is given to you 221 square meter meter square and its length is four times four meters more than breadth if i take this breadth is equal to x then length will be x plus four four meter more find the measure of the breadth x is what we need to find out again understand this type of questions are from quadratic equation so we need to find out the solution using quadratic formula here i can do what x plus 4 into x that is x into x plus 4 is equal to 221 that is what length into breadth is equal to area so breadth is x length is x plus 4 so x into x plus 4 is equal to 221 so now from here i can write x into x x square plus 4 into x 4x if i take this 221 this side it becomes minus 221 equal to 0 so now i got a quadratic equation here using this quadratic equation solving it i can find out the value of x how you will find out the value of x using a quadratic formula the quadratic formula is minus b plus minus root b square minus 4ac divided by 2a this is the formula this formula we have already studied in the previous classes so use this formula and find out the answer so what will come minus b minus b is minus 4 minus 4 plus minus root b square 16 minus 4ac minus into minus will become plus 4ac 4 into 1 into 221 that is 2214 2, so 884 8, divided by 2a is equal to 2 so this will become minus 4 plus minus root 900 will become 30 divided by 2 so minus 4 plus 30 26 26 divided by 2 equal to 13 so 13 is equal to x we got the value of x x is equal to 13 meter x is what we have taken the breadth x is what we have taken the breadth so we got breadth x is equal to 13 meter then accordingly you can mark the correct option as option a 
13 meter that is what we need to find out in this question so this question is from quadratic equation so remember the formula quadratic formula using which you can easily find out the answer for such questions so in the coming video we will be solving more and more questions okay so be tuned and again once again i am requesting you if you are new to my channel kindly subscribe so that you will get new videos every day and kindly download the app my exam coaching from play store link is given in the description and take your preparations to the next level and meet you with a new topic in the next video take care bye bye